Hey, what's up YouTube, it's Zeke, and welcome back to the Dream Green Show. Today, I'm gonna answer the question, what do Acorns actually buy with my money? Let's get into it. Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, everyone knows that Acorns is one of my favorite apps that I use. Every time I swipe my card, it rounds up to the nearest dollar and invests my pocket change into the stock market. So far, I have $2,382.65 invested into Acorns, into the stock market, just for me spending uh, my pocket change. I have my portfolio set to aggressive by roundup settings at times two and $10 invested every Friday. If we look at the aggressive profile, large company stocks invest about 40 cents of every dollar into large company stocks, 20 cents of every dollar into small company stocks, 10 cents of every dollar into emerging market stocks, 10 cents into real estate, and then, and then another 20 cents into um, large company stocks of every single dollar. So I have mindset to aggressive. There's also moderately aggressive, moderate, uh, moderately conservative and conservative but i like mindset to aggressive it's actually not that dangerous of a of a portfolio to have it's actually pretty moderate to my standards but yes um the aggressive is the one i'm choosing for acorn if we look at my performance details once i click on performance details over the in the last year i'm up 270 dollars and 69 cents being in the stock market i'm actually up 12.7 six percent so usually um through history you you usually looking for a gain of anywhere from six to eight percent of the stock market in one year and this one year alone using acorns i'm up 12.76 percent just from my pocket change rounding up i'm almost to 2400 dollars and and the question i'm going to answer today is what do acorns actually buy with the two thousand four hundred dollars that i have invested into this platform before I answer that, right quick, in the last 30 days, I've invested $145.92 into Acorns, um, $40 on reincurring. Once again, that's $10 every Friday. And then on my roundups alone, $100.92. And I actually had a friend of mine sign up from Acorns after I told him about uh, how much money I've saved and made from investing in Acorns. He actually signed up and I got a $5 referral from him. So if you guys want to use the link, the link is down in the description. If you don't have Acorns yet, it's a pretty simple app to set up. And all you have to do is set it up once and then it'll start reinvesting your money as soon as you set it up that one time. Okay, so if you want to figure out what Acorns is investing my money into, you just click on your uh, performance details and you swipe over once. It's, it's really was kind of tricky to get into if you don't use the app often, but I know how to get there. So in uh, in in large company stocks, I have $477 invested in, into that. Large company stocks, $956 invested in that. Small company stocks, $476. Emerging market stocks, $240. And real estate stocks, $231. But what stocks are they actually buying with my money? I'm going to show you how to figure that out with the tap of a finger. All you want to do is go over the first one, large company stocks, and click on it okay so with large company stocks the etf that they actually buy is vea vanguard ftse developed markets okay all right so so far this company is up six dollars and 38 cents up to 44 dollars and 24 cents up 16.85 percent on the year so i i have a 18.1 percent year to date return right down there at the bottom and the holdings that this company actually hold with under VEA is Nestle, Samsung Electronics, HSBC, uh, NOVN, um, Toyota, and ROG, Roach Holding AG. All right, so these are the holdings of this ETF. These are just a couple of the holdings of this ETF, VEA, okay? The next one that I have the most money invested into is large company stocks. And I'm pretty sure once I click on it, it's gonna say VOO. Let's check it out and see. 
Exactly, it's the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, one of the best ETFs to invest in, uh, ticker symbol VOO. Um, year to date, is up 25% with the price being at $293.56. Some of their holdings are the big bankers, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, JP Morgan, Berkshire Hathaway. So this, this the, the Vanguard SP500 uh, ETF is a very safe one to get into and is one of my largest holdings in the Acorns app. So I'm, I'm glad that they're spending my money wisely. Let's check out a couple of the other ones. Small company stocks. Um, the one that they buy, ETF that they buy is VB Vanguard Small Cap. Okay, last year it is up 22%. Um, some of their holdings is Towers, Fortune Brand Home Security, Genworth Financials, Jaden Corp, Hens Brand, Haynes Brand Inc., and Garnet Co. GCI. So these are a couple of the uh, small cap Vanguard ETFs that are holding. Tickle Symbol BB. The next one is Emerging Market Stocks. I hold $240 of that. Uh, they're buying the ETF ticker symbol VWO, Vanguard Emerging Market Stocks. Over the last year, it is up 15.93%. And a couple of their holdings is uh, Tenants Holding, Taiwan Manufacturing, Alibaba Group, uh, Napster, China Construction, and, Indust and Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. So these are the couple of uh, emerging stocks that they are buying. I have $240 invested into that. And then the last one is real estate stock. I'm going to take a wild guess. I never clicked on this before, but I'm going to say typical symbol. Oh, it's going to be a Vanguard one. Uh, let's find out. Typical symbol VNQ, Vanguard REIT Index. Typical symbol VNQ of the last year. They're up 17.6%, up to $90.14. A couple of their holdings is Simon Property Group, PLD, Equinox, uh, Public Storage, Host Hotels and Re Resorts, and Equity Residential, uh, tickle symbol EQR. Okay, so this is what Acorns is actually, actually buying with my money. They're showing the ETFs that they're spending my money on, and I'm actually satisfied with what they're spending my money on. And you're wondering uh, if they're telling me exactly what stocks are they buying with my money, why don't I just invest into these companies myself? Well, like me, when I first started off, I didn't really know how to play the stock market or get into it. And this app was very simple to get into. Also, uh, with, with VOO, it's up to $200 just to buy one share. If you don't have $290 to buy one share at a time, you can actually invest with Acorns and they buy partial shares at a time. So you can own 0.5% of Vanguard, uh, tickle symbol VOO, S&P 500. And over time, you invest your change into that until you actually accumulate one full share of that company. So uh, you can withdraw money anytime that you want and it actually reinvests your money back into you when they pay out their dividends into your account and it automatically reinvests it back into the, uh, the companies that you have set up on your aggressive profile. So that's one of the main reasons to use Acorns is because it has partial shares, it takes your change and can buy a percent of a company other than you having to save up $290 at one time, if the price could go up $300 by the time you save up $290, and you won't even be able to have a share by the time you hit $290. So if you have Acorns, you can invest partial shares and stack up on some stock with just your pocket. But yeah, guys, um, comment down below if you have an Acorns app and how long have you been using it and how much money do you have invested into Acorns? Just comment that down below. Also check the descriptions. I do giveaways all the time. It might actually be a giveaway in the description right now if you scroll down and click that. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps this channel out a lot. Other than that, this is Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace. Round it up, round it up.
How much? 562. 562. Okay. 562. Round that up. 